All right. You tell little kids, smile. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm Rose. Welcome back to the Veggie Fam. And if this is your first time, welcome. So today we're going to be making some something that's actually been requested so many times. And I, for some reason, felt like I had made this recipe already because I make this at home. So I thought that I showed you guys, but I guess I had it when I looked back and you guys were asking. So I'm like, oh, wait, I, I haven't made this. So we're going to be making some vegan country fried steak. I don't know why that's so hard for me to, it doesn't roll off the tongue right. So let's get veggie. So first things first, we're gonna be getting started with already made vegan steak. And I know you're probably thinking, Rose, but I don't know how to make this vegan steak. So if you haven't seen my vegan steak recipe, uh, I'm gonna take you guys back into time. So basically what I do to make the steak is make basically a delicious broth with mashed beans. And then we add in some vital wheat gluten and then mix it all up. And then what you're gonna do is knead it with your hands for about four minutes or so, and then you are left with this doughy consistency. Then you divide it into your steak pieces and you're gonna steam it. That's how I made the steaks, kind of like in a quick uh, recap. I'll link the full recipe below where I actually have like the full recipe of how to make the steak along with like breading it and the sauce and all that good stuff. Um, also, I will link the vegan steak recipe, like the full video, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. So, anywho, let's go ahead and I feel like I'm karate chopping all over the place. So, let's get started with this whole dredging process or breading. So, these are already steamed. I actually made them last night. I prepped them last night and I saved them in the fridge. You, once you steam this like seitan recipe, um, this is what it's called. I know some people are like, seitan? What? No, it's called seitan. And you just, you can, after you steam it, you can freeze it, you can store it in the fridge, um, and it will keep very well. So we're gonna dip this into a flour water mixture. I'm trying not to get my hands too messy, so I'm using two fingers here. And this is like a thick mixture of flour um, and water. That's like the egg sort of uh, part. And you're just gonna repeat the process with the uh, with both of your country fried steaks. This recipe is gonna give you actually it's gonna give you four. So I'm not showing you how to do all four right now, but the recipe that is linked down below will make you or will give you four of the country fried steaks. You can cut the recipe in half. You can make it double whatever floats your boat. And our heat looks like it's ready to go. So we're going to place these carefully into a shallow fry. So the oil, we have a little bit of oil just to cover each side. We don't want to deep fry these. And I have this at a medium high heat and you're going to let these cook for about three to four minutes per side. The seitan itself is actually cooked already. So you just want to brown the flour pretty much. You're just cooking the bread. That's pretty much what you're doing. So you're going to flip it once it looks golden brown on the other side. And then same thing, both sides, you want it golden brown. So, so I'm taking these out now. These are ready to go and I'm just gonna place them onto a paper towel lined plate. Moving on to the gravy. So this is a really simple gravy. I also have another gravy which um, you guys seem to like a lot or a lot of people seem to like to try it out. Um, I'll link that down below. So I have here about two tablespoons of uh, vegan butter. And, oops, and I'm gonna be adding in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Just mix that up. Once your butter and flour are nice and mixed together, so basically you just want the flour to be coated really well with the butter. And then we're gonna add in some vegetable broth. Just whisk it in. I like to do it a little bit at a time. I've never had much luck kind of like throwing it all in there because it clumps up and that's no good. You don't want clumpy gravy. I like to add a little bit at a time and as it incorporates, I add a little more. So 
So I have this at a high heat because I want this to quickly thicken up. Next, I'm gonna add in about an eighth of a teaspoon, just a little bit of dry uh, thyme leaves because that stuff is like so strong and your food will taste like soap if you add too much. And, um, well, in my opinion, it'll taste like soap. We're gonna add in a little bit of uh, ground black pepper and also garlic salt. So our gravy has thickened up really nicely and we are ready to set this over our country fried steak. Um, or chicken fried steak? What is it called? I don't know. Let me know what it's really called down below. Maybe it's called both? I don't know. Um, anywho, at this point you can taste your sauce with your gravy and add in a little extra salt, a little extra pepper, whatever floats your boat. So we've got our country fried steak or our chicken fried steak and we have our gravy all deliciously made and we're just gonna oh my oh my goodness look at it oh just pour it over there we got some mashed potatoes on the side some broccoli look at that you guys that is some deliciousness are you guys ready to try it i am i'm gonna try it so i'm going in for the taste i just have a little piece here because i still got to pick take a picture of the other thing and I'm just gonna dip it into our spoon here. This is super hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth off, but here we go. Mm. It is so, so, so good. Oh my goodness, I can't even. So it's basically the vegan steak that I make. Breaded in deliciousness. So you get that little crunch and then you get that delicious sauce gravy over top. Ugh, you guys definitely have to try this out. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the hashtag VeggieFam if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes. I would love to see what you made. I would love to know what you think about it. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I like this stuff. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.